Hey everyone, welcome back and let's solve another leak code problem today. Today let's look at leak code 203, remove linked list elements. And don't forget to hit the like button, it supports the channel a lot. So let's say we have a linked list, one, two, six, three, four, five, six, and we wanna remove all occurrences of the value six from this list. Well, we can just check. Okay, one, not removing that, two, not removing that, six, Got to get rid of it. Three is good. Four is good. Five is good. But this last six has also got to go. And then we update some pointers and the new output is over here. So how can we actually solve this problem with an algorithm? Well, like many linked list questions, we can have multiple pointers and and using these pointers, we can iterate through that through the list, remove the elements we want to remove update the pointers and then return the new head that's going to be over here right but what if the value that we want to delete happens to be one that's the first value over here right so in that case what we would do is you know get rid of this node we don't really have to update any pointers and then this is our new list so we have to uh return a head and this is a new head now right like this is not the same head that we had originally in the input so a neat little technique we can use for this is have a dummy node so this is dummy and the value doesn't really matter i'm just going to put an x here because we don't really care what the value is so we're creating an extra node that's a dummy node so this is basically just for when we write our code, we don't have to deal with too many edge cases. So now let's just see what the actual algorithm looks like. So we're gonna have two pointers. I'm gonna have a previous pointer. I'm gonna initialize it over here with the dummy node. I'm also gonna have a current pointer. I'm gonna initialize it to the actual head of the linked list. And we check our current value and see that it's equal to the value that we want to remove from the linked list. So what do we do? We update the pointer because that's what's going to allow us to actually remove this node. So now our dummy node is going to point over here. So now how do we actually update these pointers? Well, current can be moved over here, right? Because this is the next position. But what about previous? Are we going to update previous? I mean, the next logical position would be over here, but we just removed that node. So in this case, since we removed a node, previous does not need to be updated. We can leave it exactly where it is. So now in the algorithm, we see that we're at value two, that's not equal to one, so we're gonna move forward. We're gonna shift our pointers, now we're gonna check six. In this case, since we did not remove two, there is a logical, there is a position for our previous pointer to now move to, right? So since we did not need to remove a node, we are, we are going to shift our previous pointer. And now you might be able to see what we're going to keep doing with this algorithm. We're just going to, we're going to notice that six is not equal to one. So we're going to repeat the same process, shift our pointers. And last but not least, three is not equal to one. So we shift our pointers one more time. Current is going to be over here, but this is null. So we've basically gone through the entire list. We removed the one element that we needed to. There was only one element that we needed to remove. So now what is our new list? Well, this is what our new list looks like, right? So we initially started with four elements. We removed this one. And now we only have three elements remaining. But we need to return the head of this list. This is the head. How do we get the value? Because we shifted our pointers. We kept shifting them until they got to the end of the list. That's one of the reasons why we created this dummy node. Notice how the dummy node points exactly where we want it to point. It points at the new head of the linked list. So what we're going to do in our, in our algorithm is return dummy dot next. 
And since the only extra memory we're using is pointers, the memory complexity of this is O of 1, and the time complexity is big O of n, because we do have to iterate through the entire linked list. So now let's get to the code. Just like in the drawing, we have a dummy node. It's going to be a list node. We don't really care about the value that it has, but we do want the next pointer to point at head. It's basically inserted right before head. And we are going to maintain two pointers, previous and cur. Previous is going to initially be to the left of current, which is going to be dummy. And current is going to be set to the head value that we're given as a parameter to the function. And so we're just going to keep iterating through this list while current is not null. And I'm going to get the next pointer, which is just current.next. I'm going to put it in a variable so we make sure that we have it stored. And I'm just going to check if current.val uh, uh, current is equal to the target value that we're trying to eliminate, which is also a parameter. If it's equal to val, then then we know we can delete current, and we can do that by updating our pointers. So previous.next, instead of this pointing at current, we can point it at the next uh, node in the linked list. And if we're not removing that value, we can then say previous is going to be shifted to the right. So the reason we're not updating previous over here is because there's no need to, right? Because we had to delete current, so there's no position for previous to be shifted to. And regardless whether we delete a node or don't delete a node, we do want to update our current pointer, so current is always going to be shifted to the next pointer. And so the last thing we need to do is return the new head which is always going to be at dummy.next. Because remember, dummy is a node that we're never going to delete. And so whether dummy.next is null or not, it's always going to point at the first node in the linked list. And when you name variables like this, and you have name conflicts like this, you got to remember to not have any typos. And so it works. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.